What is up guys, Brandon here, welcome to Retro Dodo, thank you for checking out this video. Now, as you're probably aware, Christmas is just around the corner, and us retro gamers can be a pain in the butt to buy for, so what better way to celebrate and give you a helping hand than by creating a retro gaming gift guide. So we've got the top 10 in, all of these I have personally used myself, all of them I can recommend, and they range from anywhere from $15 all the way up to 300 bucks. So there is a big price range there, so whatever you're after, hopefully something in here will tickle your fancy. If you're buying a $300 present, you are a good friend or family member. So let's just jump straight in. Number one that has to be at the top of my list because I fell in love with it over the last few months. And if you're into your old retro games and handhelds, this is the one. This is the Retro Game 350 Probably the year's most sought after handheld, uh, probably after the Switch to be honest with you, uh, because it's only $80 and it can play all of your old retro games consoles. So this is the box here. This is a black and red version that I haven't unboxed yet. Uh, but this one is my personal handheld. This one right here comes in the old Game Boy Color uh, color variant, which is Game Boy Original, sorry, color variant, which is quite nice. And quite simply is, it's a, I just opened up the clock, which is quite annoying. Uh, how do I get out of this clock bit? So this is basically the handheld here. It's very well made. It's got two analog sticks. It's got a large three and a half inch screen and it can basically play all of your old school games. You go online, you download them onto an SD card and then you pop them in here. And then we go over to emulators and here are just some of the consoles it can play. So it can play your SNES, your Game Boy Original, your Game Boy Color, your Sega Genesis, your Wonderswan, PlayStation 1, Yes, that's right, it can play PlayStation 1 games, your Mega Drive, your SNES, your NES, your Game Boy Advance, and even your Neo Geo games as well. So this can play a ton of old school games. So if your partner or friend is into the old school Pokemons like I am, all you do is you download it onto the SD card, go into whatever console you want, click play, and it will play your old school Game Boy Color game. So here I'm playing Pokemon Crystal. And yes, it does save as well. And you can go into different settings if your partner or friend is into uh, the original ratio. You can go into all of that and save it and play when you want to. So you can have thousands of old school games built into this awesome little device. And for $80, this is one of the best retro handhelds on the market as of yet. So I recommend picking this up if your partner or friend is into old retro handhelds. Now coming in at number two, a really, really cool little present which will only cost you $20 and they do a ton of different variants so you're bound to find something for your friend or partner and it is this. These are called tubs. Now I've got a few of them here. These are basically cosplaying ducks which are absolutely adorable. They only cost 20 bucks each and you can get them for your old retro gaming characters such as Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, etc. So we have here the Crash Bandicoot selection. So this is the packaging it comes in, absolutely adorable, great for uh, displaying on your desk or in your flat. And we have Crash Bandicoot right here. And as you can see, it's a rubber duck in a little bathtub. And uh, these rubber ducks here are actually very, very well made. Uh, the, uh, you know, the attention to detail is superb. There's no real like malfunctions on here at all. And they just look absolutely great. Look at that. So there's Crash Bandicoot there. And the great thing with that, if you want to display it like that, you can. But if you want to stack them, they've got little grooves in here. So you can actually stack them on each other should you want to, you know, stack your tubs. We have Coco here. Here's a look at Coco. There she is. And you can just tell the detail on this is really, really good. And it is, you know, it is a strong duck right here. It's not going to break or wear or tear over time. Uh, these are... Really good little product. So that's Coco there. These are made by Numskull Designs. So you know they're gonna be good quality. And here is Dr. Neo Cortex. He's got a big old Swede on him, but I like it. This is a big one. And as you can tell, a lot of detail. And finally, Dr. Engine. Put these to the side. And there you have it. Look at that. Got the rocket on his head and everything. 
So these only cost you 20 bucks, so if you want to get one, two, three, four, you can. I know they've got like Lord of the Rings ones coming out, they've got Spyro, I think they've got Skyrim, so like, even if it's not retro gaming, there is some really cool, you know, uh, pop culture characters on there for you to buy. So there you have it. Tubbs, Crash Bandicoot, Cosplaying Ducks. Absolutely love them, and only 20 bucks. Pretty good if you ask me. Coming in at number three is a miniature console. This one costs around about the 75 bucks mark, so it is a little bit expensive or mid-range compared to all the others that are coming up. And it is this. This is the Sega Mega Drive console that's basically a plug-and-play replica of the old-school games console back in the 90s that comes with... Uh, how many games does it come with? 40 classic games. 42, sorry. And there's just a list some of the games you get featured like Earthworm Jim, uh, World of Illusion, you've got Dynamite Heady, Sonic the Hedgehog, you know you got some big names on here uh, for those of you that played in the 90s or even the thousands this will bring back some serious memories and this is the size of it here and it is an exact replica of the old school Mega Drive from back in the day you know the volume works, the power on switch works and so does the reset and it just brings back a lot of memories it's got the hdmi out and it's it's very much a plug and play and you do get um some old school uh, controllers with it too two in fact so you can play your friends it's even got the little cartridge slot here admittedly it can't play cartridges but 40 preloaded games for 80 bucks and you know the emulation was really really good as well and it's got some cool things on it like if you switch to Japanese it will change all of your games to Japanese and even give you the exclusive games as well because some Japanese games actually have more levels as well so you know they've put a lot of detail into this and I can see this coming down in the Black Friday deals as well so if you can't afford the $75 I reckon you'll be able to get it for at least 60 when Black Friday comes around but this is a serious uh, little mini console for those that are into their Sega games. All right, I've got a big one here, and one you may have seen in previous videos because I have a different version of it. It is this. So this is a quarter arcade, basically a replica of an original arcade cabinet from back in the day. Made by Numskull Designs again, but these come in a ton of different versions. So I also have a Pac-Man variant as well, which is absolutely amazing. But this one here is Galaga. Now I'll get it out the box. The box is the bocker. The box is big. Uh, so apologize if I hit the top camera. Uh, you get your manual as well, which you probably won't need because it's it's Galaga. Everyone knows how to play Galaga. Look at this. Oh god. There you have the Gallagher arcade camera. Look at that. And they've gone into some serious detail, like obviously because it's a replica, it looks exactly like the old school arcades from back in the day. And they've got, uh, they've got the permission to use the exact emulators as well. So the emulation is gonna be 100% perfect on this thing. Now, I don't know if you can see in there on the second camera, but that's, what it looks like. If I turn it on, there's a button at the back. You will see that the Gallagher light will turn on as well, and then the screen will as well. Now, you probably can't see that in there. Oh yeah, you can. We'll have a little play around on the second camera. This is quite awkward to play out like this, but hey ho. And look at this, just look at the screen and stuff. It is, uh, even down here, they've added in the moves, what you've got to do, just like the old, uh, the old console back in the day. Right. Let's, let's go. I, I'm hoping you can see this. If you can't see it, there'll be B-roll, don't you worry about that. Oh no, he got me. Of course he did. So, as you can tell there, with a little bit of B-roll, this thing works absolutely fine and it can because it's backlit and or is it backlit or front lit it's lit the screen is lit you could play it at night too but having this on your desk is absolutely awesome i've got a couple of these now and they look absolutely amazing in my flat it just makes it a bit more of a nerdy man cave which i absolutely love and the build quality you know made out of real wood and everything so this is uh this is serious quality on this thing and have done a cracking job so if you're into your arcade cabinets this is probably one to pick up if you want to spend a bit more money 
Coming in at number five for $200 has to be the ultimate Christmas gift this year. It's going to sell a lot and probably already has. And it is this the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, this can play retro games, but I've just picked up Pokemon Sword and Shield and it is incredible. So having one of these as a gift or giving it to someone, you know, that is the ultimate gift. And you can pimp it as well. Like I've got a, uh, a matte black wrap on this thing. So this is actually a gray console, but it's, uh, it's blacked out because I'm into my matte black and I've got a satisfied gaming grip on there as well. So I can play for long periods of time on the Nintendo Switch Lite and it just looks insane. Look at that with the matte black wrap. You know, it's just, it's just a great looking device. It could play some of the best games out there. It's portable and without doubt the best handheld of the year so far just above the retro game. But you know, it's from Nintendo, you're gonna get good quality and you're gonna be able to play some of the best games out there, including Fortnite, Pokemon, Zelda, etc. So if you've got $200 and you wanna buy your brother, your parent or your, your child, the ultimate gift this Christmas, it is gonna be the Nintendo Switch Lite. But again, you're gonna have to buy some games of it if, uh, if, if you wanna do that, but definitely pimp it as well. While we're on the subject of pimping the Nintendo Switch, coming in at number seven is a $15 product to protect your Nintendo Switch, and it is this. This is the TomTok case. I have been using the gray one for a couple of months now, and I cannot recommend it anymore. And because it's only 15 bucks in the Black Friday deals, you know, this is gonna be a affordable present, which is gonna be very, very useful for those that have a Nintendo Switch. Now, this is their Switch Lite case. This is what you get if you buy it. And uh, I can confirm the switch light fits perfectly in this thing. And because it's got these little grooves in here as well, it's got this really minimalist slim design on it as well that uh, is very, very portable. So you can chuck it in your bag and not have any, you know, bulkage in there. And you've got this little uh, screen cleaning section here, which if you flip over, you can actually fit in your games as well. So, you know, minimalist, 15 bucks, uh, it comes in the Nintendo Switch Lite colors and it just, it just looks good and protects your case for 15 bucks. Highly recommended if your friend or partner, whoever you're buying for this Christmas has a Nintendo Switch Lite. Pick up one of these, they won't be disappointed. Coming in at number eight was actually my previous video. If you haven't watched it and you wanna learn more about it, definitely click on it. And this is the most expensive on the list and it is perfect for those that are into their Game Boy. So us Game Boy lovers, it's hard to find a modded Game Boy that's perfect, but I have found one right here and it is my personal Game Boy. And it is this, the Chromaworks Game Boy Color Light. Chromaworks basically modifies Game Boys, adds a backlight. He's added, uh, they've added USB-C into this thing as well, so you can charge it on the go. It will last up to 20 hours on one charge, and it just looks insane with the all white shell and buttons. And the screen is glass. It's very, very high quality. And for those out there that love their Game Boys, this is the ultimate modded Game Boy out there, in my opinion. So if you're interested, Chromaworks, it does come in at $230, but you can get it cheaper if you just want the normal AA uh, package inside, if you're not too bothered about the rechargeable uh, battery. But I went all out on this one, and it is by far my go-to Game Boy when I'm out on the road. So there you have it. The custom modified white Game Boy color by Chromaworks. Definitely worth a look at if your friend or partner's into their custom Game Boys. Coming in at number eight is yet another retro gaming handheld, but this one has a nice twist on it. Coming in at $180, it is not cheap, but I can tell you it will make for one of the best gifts on this list, and it is this. This is called the Clockwork Pi Game Shell, and it is a DIY Game Boy, shall we say, that you make yourself and you can play your old retro game. So, just to quickly go over, inside you have your, you know, your classic NES, Game Boy Advance, and some other ROMs that you can install on here. So if I did want to play, let's say, the Game Boy Advance games, I can just go into here uh, where I've loaded them and play them, and Pokemon will start to play, and it will do all your classic stuff like save and stuff. But where the real magic happens, I turn this down. The screen's really nice as well. Look at that. 
Just playing Pokemon Fire Red on a Game Boy I made myself. Now, to turn it down, I haven't used this in a while. There we go. Shift. There we go. Okay. Now, the great thing about this, which I absolutely love, which made it for me, was the fact that you made it for me. I made it for myself. It's the fact that you can actually make this. So it comes out in parts. You have to build it yourself, just like Lego, and, uh, and then you can play and install all of your ROMs. So in here is the modular Game Boy. So I've installed the screen here like so. You connect them all together. I've uh, added the D-pad and the, uh, the programmable keypad, even the speakers. You've got the battery pack in the back. Like this thing, you build entirely yourself. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Let's say you've got a kid that's into this kind of stuff or you've got a nerdy adult like me that likes to make their own stuff. You can literally buy them and get them to make their own Game Boy. And you put it all together using this shell and you just twist these little caps on like so. And bang, you're ready to play your Pokemon Red, Fire Red, whatever you wanna play on a Game Boy that you made yourself. So think of Lego mixed with a retro handheld. Plus this is actually quite powerful as well. So it can play and emulate your old games perfectly. So there you have it, the Clockwork Pie Game Shell, recommended for those nerdy friends that like to build their own consoles. Coming in at number nine, this one I wasn't going to feature, but I've had mine for about six months now, and I've absolutely fell in love with it. And I didn't realize how good a gift it was until someone gifted it to me. The guys, I used to work for Games Radar, and they gifted this to me, and it was awesome. So you've probably heard of it in the past. It is basically disc plates. So this thing here is a metal plate with artwork on it. And what they do is they give you a magnet that you just stick on the wall, and then you can literally go and stick it on and it, it's, it works perfectly fine. Mine's been on my wall for six months now, but what you can get as well is a ton of retro gaming or gaming uh, characters on the front. Like this one here is obviously Pokemon Yellow on a Game Boy Pocket, but I know they do like three different ones with all of the starters, which looks great if you buy th all three. Uh, so if you're really into your you know retro gaming characters, definitely take a look at this plates. I got the Pikachu one here, but I know you can get a ton of Game Boy ones you can get Xbox Ones, old PlayStation Ones as well. And I think you can even get the old consoles as well if you're really into your, your, your game. So there you have it, a $30 disc plate here, full metal, great quality. Like the printing on it is absolutely insane. Uh, and it's just a great gift to give someone uh, because it just feels like you know, a bit more sentimental and it's great for putting up in your game pad as well. So only $30. I think they've got an offer on now as well. And coming out to Black Friday, I think if you buy in bulk, you'll get them a lot cheaper. But one straight off the bat is 30 But I think you can get them down to like 2015 if you buy in bulk. Display. Check them out. And last but not least, number 10. I thought I'd make this one kind of cheap because most of those on my list have been pretty expensive and this one isn't a crazy gift but if it's those of you for like secret santa or if you want a cheap gift that you've thought about this is the perfect one so you can get tons of these these are basically called pixel pals they come in at 15 dollars you can get a ton of retro gaming characters like here i have master chief and you basically chuck a couple of triple a's in the back you turn it on and this thing will light up like so and you can get a ton of different characters, but I really dig it because it's pixelated. And if you want to like, you know, pimp out your setup a little bit, you can get a load of characters and set them up along your desk or your gaming setup. And these things will look absolutely awesome. And the fact that they like stand up and they're only 15 bucks makes a, makes a great little gift. And I've had this for well over a year now on my mantelpiece and it just, it just looks great. It's small, it fits, it can fit in front of your, your desktop. You know, you can even have it in your car if you really want to. The fact that they light up is really, really cool as well. So there you have it, a top 10 retro gaming gifts list. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you had a bit of a selection. I know some were kind of expensive, but then you got some cheap selections uh, on there as well. There is a couple of different ones on our article. If you want even more inspiration, click the article below to go over to our website and check out them. But those are my top 10 retro gaming gifts this Christmas for you to get your friends and family if they're into retro games. As per usual, thanks for watching. If you're interested in retro gaming content, definitely click subscribe and hit us up on Instagram. And I hope you enjoy all of the content that we have coming up. As per usual, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.